Macy Barber looked impressive last night. The fact that she got the finish over Amanda Rebus is crazy, if you really think about it. Because Amanda Rebus is a very good fighter. And th this was the reaction last night as our prediction uh, fell. Because we had pr Rebus predicted to win, but we like Macy Barber, so it created a conflict of interest here. Check this out. Macy Barber showing signs of life as she gets back to her feet now and finally gets separated. So here we go. 210 left in round two. And we knew this would be a tough fight to watch because we predicted Rebus to win, but we really want Barber to win, right? <clears throat> so it's one of those situations where the prediction is uh, against uh, who I like better, and that happens sometimes. Man, and this is an absolute battle. Look at both of these fighters, man. This looks like it's a six-round fight already. Oh, and a left and a right now by Barber. And Rebus backs off, and that got her attention. Oh, my goodness. Oh, big right, another right. Rebus in trouble. Crowd's on their feet. And Rebus is going for the takedown now. She's in trouble. Hammer fists away by Macy Barber, and we're about to lose this prediction, but that's okay. As Macy Barber pounds away now, Rebus is in all types of trouble. Look at this, man. This ain't the fight of the night. I don't know. And that's it. The ref jumps in. And Rebus is not happy about it. She grabbed Macy Barber right then and stopped uh, the punches. But the ref jumped in already. And it is a good stoppage. Macy Barber made a statement here, man. And again, I'm not joking. Both fighters look like they went through a 10-round fight. And we're only near the end of the second round. Look at this. All the crowd is on its feet. For both fighters. I mean, just they, they both came in and just were landing punch after punch on each other. Barber 61 to 36 in significant strikes. And you see, boom, high kick lands, and that starts everything. And then Barber lands a left and a right. Here it comes. Bang. Woo. Yeah, and it's funny because we get criticized for that all the time. I, I think every fight is the fight of the night after it happens. <laughs> even if it's a 10 second KO I'm like that's the fight of the night you know it seems like it always gets better and better when you watch this stuff but that was definitely a good one of course it will be trumped by uh, Emmett and Topuria for sure but Macy Barber looked good last night credit her uh, for the big win aka the future she's got to work on the takedown defense but you know, since the loss to Alexa Grasso and Roxanne Modafari back to back, and she's young then, but now she's growing, right? Beating Miranda Maverick, Montana De La Rosa, Jessica I, Andrea Lee, all by decision. And then she goes in there against Rebus and gets the KO. So you can see, like, you know, you can win fights by decision, but eventually you got to start to prove yourself and get finishes and make statements. And that's what happened last night. A statement was made, and I could see... Two, three years from now, I could see Macy Barber winning the belt, winning the strap. I just can. And it's highly unlikely that I'll predict against her again because I'm rooting for her, but I'm also rooting for my prediction. He's going to fight. Wait. He's going to fight. Wait. Hold your breath till the end of the night. Last fight of call, UFC at its height. Yeah. Bringing that thunder with all his might. Saying, step up. Step up, step up. Want to fight? Huh? Hold up, think twice Gladiator assassin, reckless, no abandon Walk through that cage, he'll leave your ass stranded Wake up, hey, where you at? Hey, Got hit in the head with a baseball bat